nice. No. Be one of the wild boys. Oh, I don't have my hearing on. That's all right. I'm already deaf. I'll just put my hands in my ears. Let me get behind you when you're shooting that. There, okay. Up. All right, there's Wild Bryce. All right, we're gonna show with uh, with this new Pieta. 44 caliber 1851 reproduction. Uh, it's Colt Navy reproduction. I got my uh, my handy Universal Buckmeyer holster that seems to work great for it. So let's give this thing a try. One handed, of course. One handed is the traditional way to shoot this gun. And, and we lost the nipple. Uh, it's fine. We'll just rotate it. Definitely shooting high. Let's go down and look at the hits. Uh, I don't think that's high. Well, I was aiming here when I hit these. Right here. So for these shots, I aimed right under oh. here. And I took one at the steel here, but... Well, there's a way to fix that. You just see that notch in the back of the trigger right there? You sight through that notch. Right here? Yeah, right there. We just file that down a little bit. That's the same as lower in the sight because you want the you want the shots to go lower, so you normally lower the rear sight. The only way you can lower it is to carve that notch a little deeper. So we just have to get a get the Dremel tool out and carve it a little deeper. So all right. Alright, cool. So you gotta shoot it again? Yeah, let's give it another go. Alright. caps blasting off and getting caught up in the action. Let's see. This side as well. See so they kind of blast off and then they get caught up mm -hmm. in the movements. Now that's what we talked about though the spring isn't very the hammer springs not as tight and so it you get some blowback and it blows the caps off because it uh, when the cylinder goes off it blows back through the hole the nipple and blows the caps off. Yeah. Because the hammer's supposed to hold tight down on there. Well, it's not a personal defense weapon of modern age, so yeah. we don't need to worry about it. Alright. Out doing our Sunday shooting video. The local sheriff's deputy decided to pop in and see what was going on. I guess we were just having too much fun out here. But we'll see what he wants. We'll make sure I have the camera ready just in case.
Did you lose a nipple? Or lose a cap? Good. Okay, yep. this is long distance. How far out are you here? 20, 25 yards till that stakes. That stake right there is 10 yards, so you're about 20 yards. Well, let's we'll see if we can hit it. Blow caps off. That's it. All right, there it is. Wild yep. Bryce shooting black powder. Shooting the piano. Let's take one more. Navy. You gotta love this. You gotta love this brass look to it. It's very vintage. It's very cool. You know, I think it's. For the for 179 dollars, it's I think it's very well manufactured. Yeah, cool gun. I think Fiat does a great job. Price. Otherwise, you're paying seven, eight hundred dollars for a reproduction. Yeah. Uh, still not going to probably get the accuracy that you want. It's cheaper than buying a reproduction M1 brand or on or something like that. Right. So it's fun. Um, it's just a nice talking piece. It's what we wanted. What I wanted. Um, you know. Cool. It's a Sunday fun gun. That's right, and today's Sunday. Yeah. Sunday yeah, after dinner. Lot. Sunday after dinner. All right, go down and stand by your target there, Wild Bryce. Show us your gun. All right. We'll say see you later. See you later. <laughs>